What are you doing? Came with an idea for a killer mime. I don't think mimes are very scary. No, but it, so it it copies what you do, and then you have to copy it, and then it kills you. Hello YouTuber Mr. Forks, welcome to the behind the scenes of 3 Minute Horror. In this series I want to delve into story development, filmmaking techniques and post-production tricks giving you an insight into how each film was made and how these techniques can be practically applied. If you have any questions then leave them below and I'll make sure I answer them in future videos. When I spoke to Jojo, the makeup artist, I discussed it as being a mime version of Pennywise, this demonic otherworldly mime. First it copies you, then you copy it to the point of death. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling evil. I'm fe not just evil, I'm feeling mischievous, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we filmed it really late at night in an underpass in London. There were obviously passers-by that were coming around every minute or so. So you only actually have a limited window for each shot and the finished film is a compilation of all the moments that no one walked through the shot and it did happen we didn't close down the street that we just did very guerrilla style the film was choreographed a bit like a dance we rehearsed the scenes away from location so that we weren't causing too much of a ruckus we did it in a uh, controlled environment and then when we were ready and we had the whole film laid out then we took it to the actual environment okay. so we're just trying to get our bag falling in exactly the way we want it to fall I wasn't trained. No. I was school for this. So. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes sound doesn't always come out great. You need to record what's called ADR, where the actor re-performs their lines again. So we've brought Amelia into the studio today, <laughs> which is essentially <laughs> a Zoom H2 mounted on a clothes horse. It's really important if you're recording ADR that you, there's not too much reverb in the rooms because it's hard to get rid of that sometimes. Ha, got you. Ha, got you. And then what I did is I went into Final Cut and I actually had to do a lot more back in to give the dialogue, the sound like it was coming from the actor in the tunnel. Ha! Got you! Ha! Got you! I actually put in all the hill sounds back in. I felt it was important to embrace the humorous aspect of it as well, so you're not sure if it is going to be a comedy or a horror. It is ultimately a horror, but it has these comedic elements that it doesn't shy away from, and I think that ultimately fleshes out the journey to be something quite enjoyable and fun before it then takes a really dark turn at the end. I hope this is somewhat useful for you guys to make your own films, but also what I want to do with this is create a, a community angle to it as well. So down the line, I'm going to be introducing competitions so you can submit your own scripts to this series and get your own films made as part of this series as well. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.